Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add video or audio in MOV, MP3, or SWF formats into Word and PowerPoint files using Adobe Acrobat and Flash. Note that you must have Adobe Flash Player installed and enabled in Internet Explorer for this to work. Also note that Flash is being deprecated and will no longer be used by 2020, so you may want to take advantage of other methods for including multimedia within PDFs in the future. To embed the file into a slide in PowerPoint or a document in Word 2016 through 2010, place the insertion mark at the location in either where you want the file to be embedded. Then click the Embed Flash button in the Flash button group on the Acrobat tab in the ribbon within PowerPoint or Word 2016 through 2010. In the Insert Flash dialog box, click the Browse button to open an Insert Flash dialog box which you use to navigate to and select the file to embed. Click the Open button after selecting the file to see it appear in the preview area within the Insert Flash dialog box. You will also see the file location and name appear in the File Name field at the top of the dialog box. You can use the buttons in the player controls at the bottom of the preview to play the file. You can click the Stop button in the controls to stop the preview playback on a certain frame in the video. If selected, you can also use the Timeline Scrubber in the playback controls to move through the frames in the file. You can click the Set Poster Image from Current Frame button to use the currently selected frame as the poster image for the video within the slide or document. A poster image is the image shown in the slider document before a user clicks the play button to play the actual video. To change the set of playback controls used with the file, you can click the skin dropdown to select the name of the playback control skin to use from the menu that appears. The name of each one lets you know which features it contains. You can also see the buttons available for the selected skin within the preview window where you can try them yourself. After making your selections within the Insert Flash dialog box, click the OK button to insert the file into your slide or document. You can then click the embedded file object to select it and resize it or move it as needed. Note that if using PowerPoint, Acrobat will create a folder within the same folder as the presentation file named the exact same thing as the presentation file. It will create an Assets folder within this folder into which it will place copies of the file and player control skins you have selected. Ensure you do not move this folder or change the contents of this folder until you have created the embedded PDF file, as Acrobat will need to use this linked folder material to create the PDF. Likewise, you should not move the PowerPoint presentation after creating the linked file, or you may need to re-embed the content. When you are ready to create the PDFs with the embedded Flash file, click the Create PDF button in the Create Adobe PDF button group on the Acrobat tab in the ribbon within PowerPoint or Word. Then use the Save Adobe PDF File As dialog box to select the location to which to save the PDF file and give it a file name. Then click the Save button to create the PDF with the embedded Flash file. You can then send the PDF to users and they can view the multimedia embedded within the PDF file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.